What's happening, life gainers? I want to thank you all for tuning in to my most important videos, the videos that give you all the most life gains. Your stock trading, your stock options, and what you're seeing on my screen is the profit I made in this past month, minus the 410 from Best Buy, because last week, ladies and gentlemen, Best Buy dropped below what I said as a strike price, and I got forced to buy 100 shares. Now you still get paid the 410, but I am gonna turn around and show you in this video how to put those shares for sale if you ever get forced to buy them. Because remember in this game, you always have an exit strategy. It's called turning around and selling those stocks. You can either sell them at the break even point, which would be for me, I bought them. If you can see, I bought them at 116. And if I want to sell them at the break even point, it'd be 112, as you see on the screen. Or you can sell them somewhere in between. So like 113, 114, and then you would just add the $100 difference. Plus they're gonna pay, pay you another premium. So in a second, we're gonna get in here, I'm gonna show you how to do that. And this week I've executed and added up everything. So that's about what I made, about 950 minus the 410. And that's a pretty good that's a pretty good amount of money to make doing nothing but letting your money sit in the marketplace. So ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe to my video, share these videos. These videos are easy to show people how to make money with their money. And also, if you haven't done it already, download the Robinhood app so that we all can get a free stock. And today is the big Tesla and Apple split day. So if you've got a little bit of extra cash, that's not going to mess up your option money. Go on ahead and pick you up a few shares of those because they will probably stay on a hot run up for another two weeks. Let's jump on the computer, execute these trades. And if we take a quick look at my account, as you can see, it's going nuts. I'm running at about 15 return total. This is my average cost on my shares. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, they are 450. You better get it while they're getting this hot. And go ahead and get you some Apple Wise 128. It's going to all continue to rise. So I already showed you that I got stuck with Best Buy. So I am going to, instead of doing a covered put, I'm going to do a covered call with the Best Buy. And the only other one that I'm going to do this week, as I did my homework, last week, you guys remember, I did Toll Brothers and I also did Neo. And so this week, I'm going to be using Workhorse, another stock I love, another one that's in the um, EV space, but they've got a contract to do business with the United States Postal Service because they're trying to get their fleet to be better. They had great numbers. I did all that homework over the weekend. So let's jump in here and show you what these guys are working with. And always remember, you're going to come out here, you're going to sell a put. Make sure you check the expiration date. And I'm going to go down. I like to hang around the 70%. If it's 68, I'll do it too. But I really like to be around 70% chance of profit. And as you can see, the strike price below that is 17 bucks. So that's just $1,700. And you're going to get paid 73 bucks. It's a lot of, you know, that's good money to make um, for just having your money sit here for a week. And as you can see, the stock is just continually going up. And if you get caught with it, no problem. This stock has been going up the whole entire year. So let's go on ahead and hit this button before the time reduce the premium. All right, so we're going to continue. And I'm going to do two contracts. So I get that sweet 140. You want that to expire on this day, so that's good. Click review your order. You're agreeing to buy 200 shares. Yep, yep, yep. Submit the order. And we're done. Premium paid, 140 bucks. All right. So let's get on up out of there and go over here. And we're going to do the call on the Best Buy I got stuck with last week. Here we go with this Best Buy, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when you're utilizing this strategy, make sure it's a sector you love. I'm not real big into retail unless there's some really, really good news. And with Best Buy, when I got it, all the news was good. They had um, good earnings report. 
their sales had gone up. But I typically don't have a lot of confidence in anything other than technology and cars. And with the cars is mainly in the technology advances. So let's get on in here and get this call done. So instead of doing selling a put, we're selling a call. We're selling a call because I got forced to buy the 100 shares last week. And so what you're going to do is scroll up this time. And if you guys remember, I bought it at 116 strike price. Now, I don't have to pick this as my sale because for me to break even, it's 112 strike price because you subtract the 410 that I got from them and that would be my break even price. But look at the premium they're willing to pay. They're willing to pay me $1.48. So at the end of the day, I would break even on this part and still walk away with $148 if I wanted to go that route. Or I could go right here. Then I would make a one, I would make $100 per share, so I get $100. And then I would also get this, which would make me come out with $212. Or I could go back to this number, and if someone, if a price goes here, someone buys it. Um, I would still have the 410 I received last week, plus I would get $28. Now, because I'm not a big fan of Best Buy, I'm willing to let it go either here or here, because I don't want to. I don't want to hold Best Buy. I'm not a fan of them as I am a tech stock for long-term purposes. And so, instead of me doing the break-even, I'm going to go here at a strike price of 113, simply because. I'll make $100 extra to go along with this, which would bring my profit total to $207, and I'm fine with that. So let's go on ahead, click on in here, click continue, and I'm going to do one contract, good for a day, which would be this expiration date. If nobody buys it by then, I collect the $107, no harm. No foul. Review the order. Yep, I'm agreeing to put up 100 shares, 113. Click Submit. You're done. So now my Best Buy is back for sale at $113. And ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. That's the power of the stock market. That's the power of doing selling cash-covered puts. And if you ever get stuck, you can just turn around and sell your 100 shares and still make premium money and still make above what you started with or break even with and go beyond that point. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you're doing, why you haven't gotten into the market. I'm doing these videos week to week, and I'm glad I got stuck with the Best Buy just so I could show you guys what you do if you ever get stuck with a stock. But this is what you do. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you guys are doing this week. Get some Apple, get some Tesla. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Rest in peace, Chad with Bozeman. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. And download the Robinhood app. You get a free stock, I get a free one.